Stella Blade's uncensored release shouldn't be a cause for celebration, says the highly misleadingly named site the Gamer, as a, uh, well, that's a moniker I find both, again, highly misleading and downright insulting, as the closest thing anyone who writes for this piece of trash could ever possibly have come to the hobby of gaming is picking up a controller and wondering to themselves, is this a vibrator? And furthermore, oh God, the horny bonks? The horny bonks. You dare question other people's tastes. The gay mer you dog turd. I counted a dozen articles talking about the bear banging scene in Baldur's Gate 3 alone, in addition to gushing all over the recent Hades 2 half naked waifus. You have no stance upon which to chastise anyone else's fetishes, so shut the hell up. Kindly. But far more importantly, the pro censorship position has always, of course, been a beloved one amongst the modern day mainstream gaming media, as censorship is in essence their bread and butter, as wonderfully demonstrated by this. Your fetish, which is an entirely normal woman, literally the body scan of a woman, is terrible, and you shouldn't do it. Whereas, oh, you know, bare sex? Mmm, empowering. Yeah, again, I don't think I'm going to be taking any lecture lessons on sexuality from you people anytime soon, but to get into it. Stellar Blade will be uncensored in all regions, meaning players will get the full experience with no cuts. Well, actually, uh, not really, as there was a joke reference in the game that has been since been released because of it being racist. Not toolish, of course. So, uh, uncensored? Well, sort of pseudo, kinda, but not really. I assume this means Noonty and Vines will be completely untouched, but we haven't been given specifics. This only helps to feed into a toxic culture war that's starting to boil on the game and its presentation of women. In its presentation of actual normal females, yes. Developer Shift Up has announced that Stellar Blade will be launching uncensored across all territories ahead of its release later this week, putting to rest non-existent fears that the game will be nipped and tucked in the name of censorship. Eat me. Was this ever the case, or is it being hailed as a victory to continue the newfound culture war the game has been caught up in? Eat me. 2x. It is a complicated situation, and to understand, we need to look at the relationship between censorship and video games, and how that experience often changes depending on when or where we have them. Japan is known for scaling down the difficulty of certain games so that a global audience aren't turned off, which they shouldn't. While it will often be less willing to depict graphic or bloody violence in ways that Western audiences embrace. It's rarely about companies trying to stifle our creative expression or free speech. Normally, it's just rating board stuff and wanting to sell more copies based on spreadsheet data. Incorrect. This was censorship 10 years ago, and nobody really cares about it anymore because it's frankly not a concern. What we care about now is censorship in the modern day context of, well, you know, sites like this who goes, you shouldn't be worried about censorship. In fact, it's quite good. To celebrate that something is released uncensored is implying there was something worthy of censorship in the first place, and when it comes to Stellar Blade, I'm unsure where exactly that assumption is coming from. The game is already blatant in showing off Eve's body, while the violence in the trailer and demo seems no worse than most of the AAA games that we play these days. It's grotesque and unique, but so is Resident Evil. Despite struggling to find where the censorship might take place, Stellar Blade's man to trend on Twitter shortly after this announcement regardless. The official social media also leaned into this news as a form of marketing, with the expected audience jumping in to try and praise it for sticking it to the man. What man that is, I don't know, but I assume he's over on the left somewhere. It is embarrassing, and much like we've written about on the game in recent weeks, this sort of perspective makes up us ashamed to enjoy a game while otherwise ticks all the right boxes. So I read a while there to let him illustrate the argument. The argument is censorship totally isn't happening, and nobody's trying to push it on Stellar Blade. Despite, of course, literally the first experience most of us had with Stellar Blade was, I believe it was IGN going, oh, the developers here have never seen a real woman. Look at this, look at this ridiculous body proportions. It began with the pretext of censorship for trying to shame gamers for liking sexy women. That was the start. The developers didn't start this as a marketing ploy. They jumped on the bandwagon that IGN created and it's like, I don't know who this man is. I, censorship isn't happening from your own site. Tell my cry five patch removes PS4 censorship, you perverts. Again, stuff it. Three times. 
Ashley's underwear in Resident Evil is not censorship. Skullgirl's export release revealed follow censorship drama, where they removed pieces out of the official art book, by the way, so yes, absolutely censorship. Zenla's own senior fans are up in arms over censorship. Yes, 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 the game. You yourself has covered this again and again. You looking at us now and going, I don't know, I don't know what this could possibly be, is, well, actually entirely expected. See, here's the thing. The mainstream gaming media, and no, let me go broader still, the left in general lies as it breathes. And with that, I do not mean that they find lying easy, oh no, 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 I mean that they lie automatically. Every fetid expulsion of stinking air from their blackened lungs carries with it falsehood so thickly lies laced into every word, every syllable, so that if you were to lay it out on water, you could walk on it. That is how much, how instinctive instinctually, the left and gaming journals in particular lie. YouTube channels like Censored Gaming Free and talk about how localizers or translators are desperate change or westernized Japanese games, filling them with inaccuracies, designed to spread messages and ideas the source material are never intended. There is historical value to documenting how games are adopted or changed for each region, but it's a mistake for audiences to constantly approach these alterations with a hostile attitude. No, it is not because we know why the changes are being made. We know why you look at a bare sex scene. We know why you look at Hades 2 with its diverse characters, and you go, mm, Daddy, please abuse me more, and why you look at an actual, literal body scan of a woman and go, ugh, gross. It is because this is your fetishization. This is the left's fetishization. Again, the man, where is he? He is on the left. That is why you can look at this and go, you shouldn't be hostile to censorship, whilst embracing actual literal bestiality. Shift Up hasn't specifically specified exactly what in Stellar Blade will remain uncensored in the globally released version, which begs the question of why it was worth bringing up in the first place. I wonder. It was enough bait for anti-censorship gamers to join the conversation to see this marketing announcement as a hollow victory for a war the other side wasn't even aware was going on. See, this is another tactic of the left. When they're being defeated in the area, and Celebrate's sales are looking amazing right now, with even the progressives writing countless reviews on it going, oh, yes, it's pretty good, but oh, disgusting women are in it. We, we just do, he would prefer it if she was obese or disabled or at least brown. I certainly wasn't, and I played and enjoyed Cell by Demo more than enough to put money down on the full game. Now, I am fully, fully, absolutely sure that you have no idea what's going on. You don't strike me as a very bright individual, so fair enough. But again, this is the very problem with it. It doesn't feel tainted, it's because you live in a tainted world, where normalcy feels like wrong thing. You see, again, a literal body scan of an adult woman, and you feel grossed out about that. You should probably ask yourself some question as to how on God's good earth that could possibly be happening. Like, we'll look back on Shadow Blade as a pawn in this fruitless battle for conventionally attractive women in video games and lack of censorship that proves, once for all, that gamers have won. Oh, we're getting there. Stellar Blade is, is uncensored, but until you show me exactly what was on the chopping block to begin with, this proclamation means nothing. If anything, it does more harm than good. Oh, oh, you want an example? Well, since I'm of course assuming you're asking in totally good faith, there you go. The Fable character, which everyone agrees looks absolutely hideous. This was what was on the chopping block. If the modern day Western sensibilities had their way, this would be your Stellar Blade protagonist. She would be a buck toothed man in a dress, because you have made every other character a buck toothed man in a dress. There is absolutely, unquestionably, very easily discernibly, a war on what you would refer to as conventionally attractive characters in gaming. Which is again why you have to turn yourself into a pretzel to try and figure out some way to make bare sex into a positive thing. 
It is not gamers that are the uncontrollably fetishist hornies here. It is you for looking at a normal woman and finding it icky, for finding it tainted, and <laughs> for finding no signs of censorship in this game, which has already been censored. Once more, say it with me, chat. The left always lies. And with that, until next time, I have been Arch. Thank you all very much for watching, and I do hope to see you all again soon. Have a good day.